Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to share with you guys part two of my top free Cydia tweaks for iOS 8 through 8.1.2, available for and compatible with the Taiji jailbreak. All right, and first and foremost, I wanted to say happy holidays to all of my incredible viewers, and thank you guys for watching. And with that said, as I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, this is actually part two. Ensure that you watch part one first. There will be an annotation on the screen now if you're on desktop. You will also obviously have to be jailbroken, so if you have yet to jailbreak, just be sure to navigate to my channel. There are tutorials for every iteration of iOS 8. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it with the first tweak in today's list. Again, the continued list from last week. And that tweak is called iRelease. So launching up the settings app here, you'll notice that I have a new pane inside of settings called iRelease. From there, you can enable it and then you can establish different actions for tapping and holding on either the left or the right hand side of the status bar. Now, this is a really awesome tweak. I definitely like it. And it allows you to actually set up these actions without using Activator, which is great because even though Activator is one of my absolute all time top favorite Cydia tweaks, it currently isn't fully compatible with iOS. OS 8 due to the sheer number of lines of codes that actually go into creating activators. So with that said, inside of iRelease, you can establish actions for tapping and kind of holding on different parts of the status bar. So let's go ahead and go into the right portion. You have three different options. You can set it to go home, quit the top app or the app that you're currently in or to quit all apps. I'm just going to have it set to go home and then we'll go back here and all you have to do is just kind of tap and hold for a second and then let go and it should actually accomplish that action. So let's go ahead and do it again here. As you can see, it did go home and we can actually have it set to quit out of all apps running in the background or the top app. I'm not going to do those, but you guys get the idea. You can do it for the left or the right hand side. And now up next, we have a tweet called One Tap Clear. I really like this. It's starting to become part of my daily routine and it works really well. So let me go ahead and bring down Notification Center here. As you can see, I have a few different notifications and I can actually cancel out or actually dismiss all of the notifications for a specific app just by tapping on the X once. As most of you, I'm sure probably know by now, you have to actually tap it two times, once to change the X to clear, and then another time to actually clear the notifications. So now with one tap clear, all you have to do is just tap it once and it's done. You don't have to do anything else. I really like it and it's definitely convenient, at least for me. Now moving right along, we have disturb me later, which is another one that I'm starting to like. You can actually set when do not disturb disables. So I'm going to bring up control center here. And as you can see, I have my do not disturb a little icon up there that you would normally just tap to toggle the do not disturb feature. Well, now with this tweak installed, if you were to tap and hold, it actually brings up a little prompt for you to set how long you want do not disturb to be enabled for. You can scroll between it. It's really elegant and nice, and it looks like it's actually part of iOS. So that's disturb me later. And when it's active, you can actually tap and hold again, and it gives you some additional options. So when you release, we can readjust the timer, remove the timer, or just cancel altogether. So as you can see, now I can readjust the timer to just one minute and it restarts it and do not disturb will disable after one minute. And I'm just going to continue and you'll notice that. So keep your eye on the do not disturb icon up in the top status bar there. Next up, we have fully masked passwords. So as I'm sure all of you are also familiar with by now, when you actually go to enter a password, anywhere in iOS, it actually shows the last character that you typed for a while, and then it will mask it with a circle. Well, that's not the case now with this tweak installed. It just instantly goes to circle format, and it's definitely for those of you who, like myself, prefer privacy. So it just instantly goes to circle. And it's great if people are hovering over you and you're trying to enter your passcodes and you don't want them to see what you're entering. So when you actually go to type kind of fast, it does show it for a split second. But if you were just slowly typing out your password, you really don't have to worry about it. And it just works as you would expect it to. So that's fully masked passwords. And next up we have Rubik, which is actually a tweak that I kind of am starting to like, and it should help you iPhone owners out there who are looking to improve your device's battery life. So let's go ahead and launch up settings. We actually don't really get anything aside from a quick toggle. And what it does is when you're connected to a Wi-Fi network or when you lock your iPhone, it will actually disable the 3G toggle for your device to kind of help you save battery life. So will it help? That kind of depends 
depends on you, your device, what you have installed, as well as your behavior and what you are actually doing with your device when you're connected to Wi-Fi, when you lock it, etc. So at the very least, I definitely recommend checking it out. Again, it's called Rubik and that's what it does. Inside of the city listing for it, it simply says that it turns off 3G when locked or connected to Wi-Fi. So those are the last five in my latest list of free Cydia tweaks available for iOS 8.1.2. But that's not all. I wanted to share with you guys one more tweak really quick. It's actually a premium tweak, which is why I didn't really include it and say that this is a list of six free Cydia tweaks, when in reality it's only five with one premium one that I've discussed previously that I wanted to mention to you guys again because it did recently receive an update. It's called Eternum and it enables an Apple Watch-esque interface to your iDevice. So if you're like me, you can't wait to get an Apple Watch in early 2015, or maybe you just wanna see if you like the interface and if you'd find it familiar, then definitely check out this tweak, it's called Eternum, or check out its competitor called Watchboard, which I have also mentioned in another list. I like the animations on Watchboard better, but it seems like Eternum does have more features, at least right now. So let me go ahead and launch up settings here, and we're going to go into it quickly, because again, I have already detailed it. So now it does include a new diamond shape, meaning all of the icons on your springboard are now kind of in a diamond as opposed to a rectangle. That just kind of makes the overall experience slightly easier and it improves navigation. You can also control how many of the actual icons you have in your dock, which is something that's new. And you can kind of do some other things as well. And I really like now how when you go to launch an app, it centers on said app. So let me show you what I mean really quick before we actually conclude. So now that we're out onto the home screen here, let's actually tap into the Pebble app. And you'll notice that Pebble kind of moves to the middle, kind of where 1Password is right now. So then when I go to exit out, Pebble will be in the middle and that's how it works. That's one of the new features. I definitely really like Eternum and its latest update. I think that it kind of smooths things out and improves navigation overall. So check out Eternum if you want an Apple Watch. All right, now that's it for this list, guys. Just remember, the last one is a premium tweak. I didn't really include it in the list. Just wanted to let you guys know of a recent update to Eternum. And with that said, if you guys are interested in an additional 54 Cydia tweaks that I haven't mentioned in this video that I have detailed previously that are compatible with iOS 8 through up to 8.1.2, then just be sure to check out my continually updated top iOS 8 Cydia tweaks playlist. I will have that link to on the screen now via an annotation form. You can also find it down below in the more info of this video. Of course, be sure to watch part one. And if you guys like this, found it helpful, and it got you on your way to installing some awesome tweaks inside of Cydia, be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section. And once your comment's been posted, if you're interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or simply freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. From there, all you have to do is really download the app, go through the simple install process, earn points by downloading sponsored apps, referring friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and as one final concluding note, again, happy holidays, guys. I can't thank you enough for watching my videos. And if you want to be notified more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things, such as jailbreak and Apple Watch related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU. Signing out.